Well, if you ever get in the unfortunate and frustrating situation of trying to delete files or projects in Fusion 360, and it keeps telling you it can't delete them because they're used somewhere else or for some other reason, and you're pretty sure that's not true and you just want to get rid of them, here's what to do. So I've got a project open here with a bunch of stuff. I've got two things here that it refuses to delete. Uh, just uh, as I'm working along, if I encounter these things, I rename them here. Uh, right click here and rename. And I, I call them erase this. And then once I'm done with the project or, or, or whatever, and I've got all these erase this files here, uh, then I come back to the top of my projects folder and I create a new project. And I call this erase this. So now we have a new project folder here called erase this. I'm going to go back into that other folder where I had uh, the items that I couldn't delete right here. And I can right click on this and say move. And I want to move it to erase this. So that's gone. I can do it same thing to this one. Right click, move to this project here. So items move successfully. Now let's go to the web and look at uh, where all our files are. That's right here. If you click on this open on the web, uh, that'll take you to uh, all of your projects here. And it's going to open uh, the project folder that you were had last open in Fusion 360. To get uh, further up in this nest, you can click on this Home button here. And there's our Erase This. Now, we can, at this point, in order to get rid of this, um, you could go to here. But what we, we really want to do is go over here and say Archive. So that'll archive it. Now it's no longer in our All Projects folder. But we can see it under the Archive tab here. Erase this. Right there it is. Now we can delete it. And it's going to delete all that stuff. And it's done. We we'll go back to our project file here at the top of top level. Refresh that, and you can see our deleted uh, delete this project is now gone. Anyway, I hope that helps. If you like these videos about Fusion 360, um, do me a favor. Uh, click the thumbs up button below and um, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.